Thank you so much, Rhonda, for reaching out and asking me to be a part of <laughs> being a part of your team call. And um, I, I will tell you all, I, uh, yes, about two weeks ago, I think it was, mm -hmm. um, I was very fortunate to uh, be asked by Rhonda to join um, her retreat and just share. And I think that call was a little bit longer than we all anticipated. But I think that when you start, you know, just sharing and start, you know, um, really connecting with people. It's so easy for time to get lost and for you to just really start sharing. That's something I absolutely love about this channel and this business. And I'm so grateful that you asked me to be on for your larger team. Um, so hello everyone. Um, for those of you who have probably, maybe you don't know who I am, um, or, or maybe you, um, maybe you've never heard from me before. I just want to say hello and introduce myself a little bit. So Rhonda, I hope you don't mind. I'm going to just like share a little bit of my background. And then I would love to share with you guys a little bit about what I'm excited for. Um, there's so many new things that are getting ready to take place and happen here at the changeover of the month. And so I want to share a little bit about that if you don't mind. Um, all right, so uh, a little bit about me for those of you, maybe you've never met me before. I have been with It Works now for almost eight months. Um, it's been a very fast eight months. It feels like uh, a few years <laughs> at times. Only but eight just, months. It's just been absolutely incredible. I, I had the great fortune of meeting Mark and Cindy Pentecost and hearing about their passion, what they were looking forward to and what they wanted to do building It Works. And it just spoke to me. It just spoke to my heart. I've had the great fortune of being this channel of direct sales for a little more than 20 years. Um, I got started in this uh, great channel as a CEO and my first distributor. I actually started my own direct sales company, a lot like Mark and Cindy, built that up, sold it, went into the corporate side um, because there's not a lot of people who have actually built in the field and can transfer that language because y'all speak a different language um, than we do in corporate America. And so I was able to really help build that bridge. Well, I had a great corporate career. I've been with companies that you have never heard of <laughs> because they were failures to launch or maybe they closed down. And I've been with some iconic companies in our channel um, that you have heard of uh, that are you know billion dollar brands out there like Monate, Rodan and Fields, Tupperware brands. And so I've had the great fortune of building with those companies um, learning from them and then being able to take that into uh, just all aspects of life. I will tell you guys though, about four years ago, I decided I was going to leave corporate and just go back into the field because I had such the, the pleasure of uh, locking arms with leaders and really uh, helping them build and grow and understand the strategy behind the, the business of the channel, as well as really understanding how to build themselves as leaders. And I thought, you know, can I do this again? Because let me just tell you something. When I started my first company, this was not a thing. Like this cell phone, first off, it was like really huge for those of you who, um, are seasoned like myself, um, or it was a beeper, but I really built my company by knocking on doors. Did anybody else ever build in direct sales or multi-level marketing by knocking on doors? Like, don't leave me hanging. Somebody drop a one in the comment. Um, Rusty, I saw you on here. Like, come on, be real now. I saw you, sir. Uh, but okay. So there's a few of us We're we're seasoned people. Okay seasoned. We're not old, but we built before there was social media, before this great technology uh, was built. And so I thought to myself, can I do it again? Could I be successful? And I will tell you, I went back out into the field. I grew a very uh, large business rather quickly. Um, I was able to apply the things that I was training and I, I loved it. But have you guys ever had something like in the back of your mind, like, you didn't complete or finished. Well, that was me on the corporate side. And a mentor of mine uh, came, came to me and they said, you know what? Come on, let's go build this brand new company together. 
And I said yes to them. And little did we know that we would launch a business March 1st, 2020, 15 days before a global pandemic. And if you guys know this business, as much as it is on social media, when you're launching a company, um, you really have to establish yourself face-to-face, belly-to-belly. That still is the number one way because people need to talk to you and meet you and, and you know touch you and feel you and know that you're real. And we just didn't have that. And then I was very blessed to join the It Works uh, family. And I will tell you guys, it has been an incredible eight months. There's been a lot of shift. Um, drop, a, drop a two in the chat. If you have been with the company for more than eight months and you have felt that there's been a little shift happening, right? Because shift happens. Okay. I love it. I love it. Drop a two, drop a two. All right. I absolutely love seeing this because here's the thing is that when I sat down and talked to Mark and Cindy and Doug, we all realized that there's so much incredible things that are happening here with the It Works family. Like you can't, you can't build a culture like we have overnight and they have an incredible culture. We can't just like go out and sprout up leaderships and leadership in the field like we have overnight. We have that here. We have a a very um, consumable relative product. We are in the direct sales channel, but what we have is health and wellness. That is our industry. That is our product category that we are in. And never more has it been relevant to be concerned and and really in tune to our health. That's what the last three years has taught us. And it's not going anywhere anytime soon. And so we have all these incredible things, but we also realized like to go to that next level, to become that billion dollar brand, we needed to shift a few things fundamentally that we're doing as well as product wise bring out so that we could align everything just right. And that's what Mark and Cindy were passionate about. They were like, listen, We've gotten it this far, but we need to take it to that next level because we have more lives to change. And it was something that spoke to me so much so from where they are as leaders and what they do and what they believe that I was all in. I mean, like if you guys have met them ever in person, like Mark just knows how to share his heart and his vision for what is coming. And so we immediately said, yes, Doug was already in, I was in, and we were like, absolutely. And so now you're starting to see things have shifted, right? We brought on Ford a friend just just over a year ago now. It's actually been a year as of September. Doug brought on Ford a friend because he wanted to build fundamentals. And these fundamentals have been so integral into our business in this past year. We've paid out hundreds of thousands of Ford and a friend bonuses. Why is that important? It's important because it means that it works. It means that you can help somebody sign on and immediately earn back their investment in a week with $150 just by going out and getting four customers and a friend to join them. Better yet, if we want to take that on further, we can help that friend do the same thing. And now we've got a $350 bonus and that's teaching them the first steps of leadership and the right steps that create momentum and duplication. That's not a curse word in this business. Duplication is a word that we need to get comfortable with because that is how we grow. And so we loved this so much. Our leaders have come to us and said, we got to keep that that we are putting it in our compensation plan permanently. You guys, that is a huge step, huge step. Not only that, but when you utilize this plan really, really well, and I'm going to get into this in a minute, we can see duplication start to take off. You're also going to see things shift like our customer plan. This is this is Meredith Teason's passion right here, because let me tell you something. I come from companies where our customers don't just love us. They insist that their friends do business with us. You guys, that's where we want to get to. We want to get, how many of y'all, let me ask you this. You know, I hope you don't mind, uh, but type in the chat, a favorite brand that you have a favorite brand. I want to see what favorite brands do we have out there? You know, um, typically somebody will type in, Ooh, Lululemon. Yes. Lululemon is great. Yes. Disney, big red. I love this. Um, Alexis, stop. (laughs) Pepsi, pink, 
Um, Hello Bello. Okay. Bath and Body Works, Posh. You guys are naming some great brands. Um, listen, there's a reason why brands have great followers. It's because Lululemon quality, the feel, the quality, doesn't matter that they're expensive. Shoot. Doesn't matter at all. People will go buy an 80 pair, $80 pair of leggings or $110 pair of joggers because the quality and it holds up. Um, coach, coach, you know that you're going to get a great quality purse. Same with, um, oh shoot, LV, uh, Louis Vuitton, right? Stitch comes out, they'll replace it. Doesn't matter. You could have had that purse, coach, same way. You could have that, that purse for 30 years. They will replace it. They will fix it. They will send it off. Um, how many of y'all love shopping at Nordstrom? Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack. Yes. Okay. Nordstrom, great customer service and they stand behind their brand. Do you know that, that Nordstrom's customer service is so famous that they actually had a customer a few years ago return tires tires, car tires, four tires to their store and they reimbursed them. And you know what? Nordstrom doesn't sell tires. They don't sell tires, but their policy says you can return anything to their store and they will refund you the money. That is great customer service. And so people will talk about, about going and shopping at Nordstrom because you can return anything at any time. Do you know, there's a brand out there right now there's a children's brand out there and forgive me, I can't think of the name off the top of my head. They're sold in Target, that part I know. But there's a children's brand out there that you can purchase their clothes and you can return it for a new size for up to a year. Uh, Kate and Jack, yes, or Cat and Jack, yes. I mean, my goodness, kids grow within three months, a month sometimes. My nephew is, is seven years old and he is five, four at seven, like he grows like a weed. So you can take and return it. Here's the thing where I get really passionate about customer service, because this is, this is a big thing. If our customers love us so much, we need to then help them stay longer than three months. You see, I'm used to being with brands where our customers stay no less than two years and up to almost eight years because they love us. We have incredible products, incredible ingredients and products that produces results. They're consumable products and they're very on point price-wise for the other products that are out there on the market. But here's the thing. We talk to our customers about 90 days and they only stick around for 90 days. So we're going to first shift the power into the customer's hand because now there's a lot of ladies on this call, but I see a few good men too. How many of you all like to be told as a customer what you can and cannot do within the plan, right? Said no one ever. No, we want the power, right? We want to we want to be able to say, and so we're going to give that to our customers. And we're doing that strategically because we know in today's world, it's super important for a customer to feel empowered to be able to have their products when they choose. We don't want to penalize them. We want to reward them for continuing to stay with us. We want to reward them for staying with us longer than 30 days because we know that they'll get better results the longer they stay. And here's the other thing. We also know that when we empower the customer, the customer stays longer and they purchase more with you, which that should mean a lot because you guys do a lot to get that customer. The last thing you want to do is replace them every three months because here's what it does. It takes your business and you bring on a, an allotment of people for three months and you go, go, go. And then they drop. And then you, you got it three more months and you go, go, go. And then they drop is what we want to do is we want to say, go get some customers and keep them and then go get some more customers and keep them and go get some more customers and keep them so that you have consistency and volume growth and consistency in longevity for your residual income. So here's the thing. I've heard a lot of people say, okay, well, we got to shift everything we say. You guys, small tweaks, small tweaks. It really isn't a lot, but it's going to be small tweaks in how we talk. Let me help you get started in your first 90 to 120 days, 
you're going to really start to see the results that you want to see. But remember, this is a lifelong journey. Just a small tweak like that versus 90 days. Who wants to see results in 90 days? This is a start. The first 90 to 100 days, you're going to see great results and proven results. But this is a lifelong journey of health and wellness. And we know you're going to love our products. You guys will eventually see an incredible money back guarantee. That's going to be the next phase of our customer service plan. It's not enrolling this, this just yet, but we also want to empower our customers eventually to be able to say, hey, um, you know what? I thought I'd love the chocolate. I actually like the super berry better. So I want to return this and we want to empower them. We want to be that customer service. We're probably never going to get to, you know, a Zappos or a Nordstrom. But here's the thing. Can we get to a Nordstrom rack? Yes. Can we get to brands that we love? Can we get to an Amazon to where you can return it at Kohl's? Yes, we can start providing the right things to empower our customers. And what that does is that builds longevity for you, which means that you are truly going out there getting long-term residual income. Because if we can shift our customers to staying from three months to four to five to a year, my goal is by the end of 2023, that our customers are staying an average of eight months. Do you know what that means for us? You guys want to know? It means that we'll be in, encroaching on a billion dollar brand. If we can get our customers to stay. That means that we're on the doorsteps knocking at a billion dollars. Once we pass that year threshold, you guys, we will be there. This means that you don't have to replace 30, 40 customers every three months. It means that you gradually build your customer base month over month and you keep them consistently. So it's those small little changes. Don't overthink it, but think of those other brands that you join. We all join Amazon Prime, right? $14.95 a month and we think nothing of it. Do we always get Prime service? I know I don't and I order from them like daily. But it's those small little tweaks and I get to decide when I order from Amazon and that's what we're doing. We're empowering. So you're going to see shifts like that. You're going to see a price change shift that is not really going to look that big because as what we did is we dropped retail pricing down to adjust, to make up for the shift that is happening with the customer discount. You're going to see us next year start separating the the distributor discount from the customer discount because you guys are our biggest advocates and we want to make sure that you get our best discount. So that'll be coming in the upcoming year and you're going to see that shift. What else does that mean? It means that when you're going out there and you're sharing about things that are coming like our vanilla creme coffee that just launched and you say, hey, do you want to be the one to use this or do you want to be the one to share it and make money off of this? Your best discount is going to be as a distributor and you'll make money too. It's going to be that type of conversation because every time we bring out a new product, doesn't matter if it's seasonal. And by the way, if you guys didn't realize this is not seasonal, this is in our now portfolio. Because when I, when I showed up on the door, I didn't know that sugar cookie keto coffee was seasonal. And I told everybody it was being discontinued because it was seasonal. And I legit started getting some hate mail. They were like, who is this Meredith girl? She took our sugar cookie. Like I seriously, I was like scared for a little bit. I went to Colin and I said, you got to help me out. And he said, we'll do something even better. We'll bring something that's not just seasonal. And that's what we did. You're going to see seasonal coffee come up very, very soon. With that being said, again, another conversation for you to go out there and start building your business, not just for customers, but to build your business because either they can be the ones to share it to their friends and family and earn and start building their for and a friend and putting money in their pocket for the holidays, or they can be your customer. Every single time we bring out a product, it is a conversation to go back to everybody you've been talking to is now the time. Seasonals will be seasonal. 
You guys, I don't know if you just realized this, but we just like a month ago discontinued pumpkin spice from last year. Okay, just saying. Seasonals will become seasonal. It'll be a three to a four month run and that is it or until it's, until supplies last. We want to drive demand. There's a reason why Starbucks does not put out pumpkin spice all year long. It is a marketing strategy, right? And it's to drive conversation because there are people who only go to Starbucks for pumpkin spice. That is it. That's it. And they know that. And you might be like, well, they're missing out on money all year long. No, no, no. You see, if they offered it all year long, they wouldn't get the volume that they get during the time that they, they offer it. It is all about strategy. It's about offering the right things at the right time so that we can build momentum. You're going to start to see a, a new product come out for skin that I'm super excited about. You're going to see some products come out for holiday. Now, I will tell you, when Doug told me he tried to give his mom TFX for holiday, I was like, Did, I'm shocked you're still breathing because my mama, she would have sent me back to my maker. She would have been like, well, Lord, she had a good run, but she just didn't make it. That's what she would do. I'm just telling you. And so I came on and I said, hey, marketing team, Let's put our heads together because when I think of holidays, I think of specific people. I think of the people in my life and what they're doing and what they're into, right? And I want to match to them. And that's how our consumer is. And I don't want this just to be for my customers. I want this to be for my customers, friends, and family too. So we started to put our heads together and we said, all right, well, for the holidays, we're going to need a holiday catalog. So that is coming. You will see a holiday catalog, and we're going to talk about the coffee lover in your life. We're going to talk about that active girl in your life. We're going to talk about that active guy in your life. We're going to talk about, you know, the, the one who loves skincare in, in your life. And we are going to have holiday packaging, actually packaging for that person because we want to start elevating that brand. And so this is these are things that I want you guys to realize that we're strategically putting in place over the next month. You're going to see something every single month for the next few months because we want to build this holiday season, but not just build it for customer and volume. We want to build it for those who are looking to strategically start their business and earn and get their holiday cash for free so that they can provide holidays, especially in this economy. They can still go out and provide the big family dinner. They can go get all the Christmas gifts. They can afford to put fuel in the car to go to Ohio to be with their loved ones. We want to provide that so that there is no stress and they're also able to make money. So how are you going to do that? Here's, here's how. So I mentioned four and a friend a second ago. It's coming into our plan. Yes, it is. But here's the thing. If you guys haven't realized, we have four and a friend and we have four and three. And there is the consistent way of four and a friend, but that should always be baseline. That shouldn't be your maximum. That should be the minimum, 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 the little bitty minimum. If that's all you can do, that's great. But let me tell you something. When you go out and you get four loyal customers and you get three friends to join you, I want you guys to realize because we don't have this out there like we should, and we should be talking about it more. I want to put $1,200 in somebody's pocket over the course of a month, just in bonuses when they first start. Not just, that's not including commission by doing four and three. What does that mean? That means I go get my four customers. I go out and I get three distributors to lock arms with me, and I'm helping them do the same thing. When we map this out, we know that we can help somebody brand new coming into the business, not just earn $1,200 because when they go and get their, their four and a friend, and actually I'm going to teach them to do four and three, that if they just do their four and a friend, that is 350, 350, 350 plus my 150, that's $1,200, not including commissions. When they do that, brand spanking new, We've mapped it out. If they just do that minimum of four and a friend underneath, you do your four and three and they do four and a friend underneath, you can build to diamond in 90 days. Add that up and continue to do that for another 90 days. You do that for two 90 day stints back to back. You guys, 
you will be in the double diamond to triple diamond. You'll be in volume of over 20,000 in volume. Double what a diamond has to be. You guys, this is insane because this is where consistent, persistent, and long-term volume comes into place. So these are just a few things that I'm excited about, about because here's the big thing that I'm excited about. We're putting this all out there because we know what we're coming out with in January. Y'all got your conference ticket? This is not going to be streamed. This is an in-person live event because here's the thing that we know. Statistics say when you show up, you go up. Over 85% of those who go to an annual convention will rank advanced no less than three times. No less. That, that is proven in our channel across the board at Every company out there, those stats have not changed. They've only continued to progress. And so you have to be at conference. What we're rolling out at conference is going to be insane. We have a lot of things coming as we've made these small little shifts over the course of the year, four and a friend, making sure that we're really focused on helping you guys strategically place, filling the gaps. Of, of the product line out there, making sure that we're not just talking weight loss, but we shifted and you guys helped shift brilliantly into talking about weight loss, weight management, nutrition, active lifestyle. Now we're shifting the customer plan at the right time to make sure that we're helping people stay on long-term through the holidays and beyond. And then what we have coming at convention is going to take us to that next level. You see, we are trying to really help build this momentum year because we know that January is always our biggest time. January, February, March, April are the biggest moments in this business. And we don't wanna wait for January. Because see, in this channel, what you do today shows up in 90 days. And it's not by chance that in 94 days, 95 days from now is January 1st, right? So we're putting everything in a place to say, now is the time to focus and to get really honed in on the pathway so that you're setting yourself up. If you put a plan in place of doing four and three month over month and helping them do their four and a friend, could you be happy at hitting diamond, even if you miss out on the Q12 by December to set you up for January, February, March? I tell you what, I would. I love the quote that says, shoot for the moon, you might land on the stars. It's not about always hitting the moon, but it's about putting yourself in position so that when the next momentum train comes, you are set up for success. But here's the thing, and I realize there's, there's a lot of people, and I want you guys to be honest. Now I'm going to ask you guys, like, be ready to go to your to your phone, your computer, start typing some numbers, because here's what I want to see. Because I can rattle all of this off, but there's probably some people on here that are like, well, I just, you know, when I post, when I post, I don't know what to do when I follow up. I don't know what to say. How many feel that way? I want you guys to type a four in the chat. If you feel like you just don't know what to say. Or, you know, Rhonda, she can just rattle off her story and Rusty can talk about business all the time. But man, it just, it doesn't come easy for me. I just, I don't know what to say. Or I put a post out there and I don't get anything nibbling on it. And I don't think I'm posting the right things. Or am I posting too much? Or what do I post? Or, you know, I do an in-person event, but I'm just not sure what I should talk about. Okay, I love the honesty, you guys. I would qualify this as a skill issue, okay? A skill issue, meaning that we've got to be honest. It took time for me, for Rhonda, for Rusty to polish our skills day in, day out, talking about it, talking into a mirror, talking to ourselves in the shower, saying our short story, right? And, and getting our posture to a point that it becomes so natural and so easy for us, but it doesn't happen overnight. So here's what I'm going to challenge you guys to do. I'm going to challenge you to a couple of things. The first thing is this. If you don't have your short story written down, write it down. You need to write it down. And it needs to be short. It should be about five sentences. Who you are, why you're doing this, what you love about it, what you're looking forward to, and the best part. Okay. It should be that simple. Five sentences. Shouldn't be that, well, you know, I was a, 
I was a flight attendant back in 1990s. And then I became, it shouldn't be that. No, 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 no. Should be short, sweet, and to the point. Not, and some of you might've heard this as what's your elevator pitch. Okay. Now I, I see a few guys on here. There are some guys on here that will get in an elevator and elevator pitch it. There's not a lot of ladies. I'm just saying, that's just not how we, we don't roll like that. We're not like the door closes and we're like, so I'm an entrepreneur by trade, but I found it works through. No, we just don't do that, right? Some guys are brave though. Guys are brave. We could use a little bit more of that gene sometimes. But here's the thing. You need to have it written down. These sentences written down because it's an, it's an exchanging of a conversation, but you've got to know it forwards and backwards. Once you write it down, ask your upline, sideline partner, your downline, ask them to listen to it. Better yet, not just your short story, your three favorite products. What do you love about your three favorite products? Have those written down too. And then I want you guys to do this. I want you to take this device and I want you to record yourself. Video and all, you're going to record yourself. Now, I will tell you it's like truth, legit. I cannot stand listening to my voice. I am a 12-year-old trapped in a seasoned body, body. That's how I feel about my voice. I just don't like it. No one likes their voice, right? Unless you've got like that deep James Earl Jones voice, like no one likes your voice. I don't like it. Okay. But here's what I do is I watch it. I watch it. I, I full on listen, watch it. You're gonna watch it three times. I watch it and I'm like, oh, that's horrible. Why did I do that? Then I watch it with no sound. Because here's the thing. If you're in person or you're Marco Poloing or you're on a Zoom, your face says it all. And if your energy, your passion is not there and you're like, yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, we have this new, um, mm, uh, yeah, we have this new keto, it's vanilla cream, vanilla creme. Yeah, it's this new vanilla thing. Like, that's all right, right? Or we could be like, I mean, it's amazing. They're gonna read, they're gonna see it all on your face. Like my husband's like, you could tone your face down. And I'm like, but I can't because God gave it to me. And like, it's all there. You're gonna know if I'm passionate about it or not. That's just how it goes, right? Understand people are reading your actions. Your actions speak louder than words. The third way you're gonna listen to it is you're gonna just listen. Close your eyes if you have to, but just listen. Because sometimes you're going to pick up on a tone or how you say something that you're going to know if the passion is there, if the energy is there. So listen to it three ways. Here's the thing that I know. The one with the most energy and the most passion wins in the conversation every single time. They might say no and walk away, but they're going to think about you because you had so much passion. If it's a skill issue, though, you have incredible leaders to help guide you, but you've got to be coachable and you've got to be willing to adjust. I always tell my team, feedback is a gift. I don't have to give it to you and make you better. But if I choose to, you should realize I'm just trying to do that. I'm trying to make you better. I'm trying to help you achieve your goals. Now, there might be some of you who are like, all right. I don't have a four problem. I got skills for days. Like I was born with skill. The, I, it just comes naturally. I am a salesman, saleswoman. I got it. I got the skill. But I just, you know, life happens. I woke up. I, you know, here it is four days left. And I thought I was going to do more and I'm not there yet. So I'm just going to wait. Then I want you to identify this. It's a will issue. Because it comes down to two things. It's either skill or will. Will in the dictionary actually means expression of a habitual habit. Habitual habits. How many of us love habitual habits? Like how many of y'all just, you love drinking your water every single day. You don't even think about it. Like you get all 120 ounces in all day, every day, not even a thought. You just love it. Or, or better yet, you love saying no to every dessert out there on the planet because you have so much willpower, right? Okay, all right. I just saw the one girl, Dana, you just laughed, girl. Okay, I saw that, right? Right, you have the will for it. Listen, we all don't have the perfect will in anything. But here's what I do know. 
I know that if you don't have your why, your passion, the reason why you're doing this, your, your desired goals will become negotiable. And I also know that our top leaders in this company have had to forego a lot of things to get where they are. Did they want to? No, but they chose to. You see, they chose to do the things that everybody else didn't want to do so that they could have the flexibility now. It might mean that you don't have dinner on the table every night. Maybe you got to order out like I did. Like my husband's over picking up chicken because I had back-to-back -back leader calls. And it's important for me to pour into the field. And so it means that I forgo cooking dinner and that's okay. He'll live. I'll live. We'll eat some chicken. We'll be fine. Dinner is an hour late. But sometimes you've got to sacrifice for what you're passionate about. And I am passionate about helping this field and pouring into it and making sure that you guys understand what we are building to because we are building to beyond a billion. We are putting the steps in place to let this become an even, even bigger, bigger legacy company than what it is right now. We're in 22 countries. We've got more countries to tackle because that means that more lives can be changed. And I'm not going to stop where we are right now because I am made for more. And so is this company. And it means that sometimes that I've got to get on a plane and be in home office for four weeks out of a four week month. And that's what I am willing to do because I have some things that I want to accomplish. It might mean that you don't go to every girlfriend's luncheon or every single birthday party. It means sacrifice. Olympic athletes will talk about how they don't like the fact that in the Olympic year, they don't go to birthday parties. They typically never leave the training arena. They stay there. They eat the same meal every single day, seven days a week, because they are so tuned in to what they're willing to sacrifice for that gold. You know, Usain Bolt talks about how he earned an obscene amount of money. But when you total up his 20 top records and all of his Olympic medals, it's less than six minutes of running. But he talks about the fact that what you don't see is the 20 years of sacrifice of eating the same thing, of training day in and day out when you didn't feel good, when he didn't want to, when his body was broken and, and he was tired, but the sacrifice was worth it in the end. You see, a lot of times people will say, if I could show you how to make a million dollars, do you want to know? And I'm asking this question. If I could show you how to make a million dollars, would you want to know? Hold up your hand for me. Turn on your screen, hold up your hand but are you willing to do what it would take? Because that's the question. That's the question. Very few people will jump up and say, I'm willing to put it all on the line. And that's what it takes, you guys. It means sacrifice. Is it worth it? Yes, I believe that to my core or I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be putting the hours in and the time in and talking to a group of ladies on a Saturday, um, losing my, I wouldn't. But I believe so much in Mark and Cindy's vision. I believe so much in the field. I believe that a few small tweaks and we can dial this in to become everything that we are destined to become, that God has laid before us. And I am willing to sacrifice a few things now to make sure that I don't wake up tomorrow and regret not putting in the effort. Because the price of regret, I am not willing to live with. I'm not. I'll give the sacrifice all day, every day before I decide to don that burden because it's a weight I can't carry. So when you start to think about everything that we have before you guys, there's a lot of strategy here, but there's a lot of strategy that goes into the vision for what is coming long-term. I can't tell you when the momentum factor is going to hit, but I can tell you, I am going to line everything up and make sure that when it's here, 
we're not sitting there going, well, we wish we ha would have had a great customer program to take advantage of it. We wish we would have put four and a friend in the compensation plan so that we could make sure that people understood what they had. We wish we could have, could have, should have, would have. I'm not going to have that because here's the thing. You guys, we are lining this up so that you can pull up a chair and dine at an endless buffet versus settling for the scraps that are falling on the floor. I don't want you guys going for scraps. You're working too dang hard for scraps. We're working too hard to replace customers every three months. I want you guys to be ponied up at the table and you all deserve a seat at the table. And I hope you understand you have a seat at this table. We are listening to you. We've, we've done calls with distributors at every level. We've done calls with past loyal customers to say, what didn't you like? What could we have done to make you really understand that you were welcomed here? We're diving in to make sure we are lining it up to give everything that you guys need to be successful. But then it comes down to, are you willing to put in the other side of the sacrifice? Because we can only take it so far. But we're, we're looking to you guys to help us get us across that finish line because we can't do it without you. And here's the other part. I don't want to do it without you. Because you guys said yes first. And I know you guys see it. So that's what I'm excited about. I know I went way too long. I'm sorry, Rhonda. I get fired up. Like I've sweat clean through my shirt tonight, through my jeans. But here's the thing. If I didn't, it would mean that my passion wasn't coming through. And I'm passionate about changing lives. I'm passionate about the fact that this isn't just about giving somebody the opportunity to feed their family because it is. It's not just about getting somebody out of debt who's never been debt free and break that curse that has been bound on their family. Or somebody who says, you know what, we were on the brink of divorce because of the finances and we broke that curse. Or somebody who says, I needed a different lifestyle because my health became more important all of that, but I'm here to also give hope to those who are hopeless because this is my mission field. So every day I will put it all on the line. I'll sacrifice a dinner or two. I'll sacrifice what I need to because I know it's worth it. And I know the payoff that God has before us is going to be like nothing I've ever seen. So Rhonda, I hope I answered all your questions. I got a little offset, but I was like, Ooh, and if oh. not, just tell me and I'll answer them. Meredith, you are seriously incredible. And what a gift I I'm emotional because I feel your passion. And I know everybody that's on this zoom right now feels that passion, throw some love to this woman. Would you, she has come in here and she is taking us to places that we have never been. And I think we should all feel incredibly honored. And I do feel incredibly honored for your time and just your willingness. I know how busy you are. And here you are giving of yourself to us and showing us what true leadership is all about. So thank you so much tonight for the love, for just pouring it out and letting us all know up close and personal who you are, what you're about, and where your mission is to take us. This is incredible. Thank you, Meredith. Well, thank you guys. Thank you for letting me be a part of tonight. And here's the thing, you guys, I'm all about honor, honor your leader here. Like she, she is the one Rhonda is the one who reached out because she was so passionate about her team, her team that right there deserves so much honor. So Rhonda, thank you so much for being you. I so appreciate you. I'm so ready to, to take this to a whole nother level as Mark would say because oh it's, time. it's our yes. time and we are right there with you Merida thank you so much for the inspiration and for all the secrets of what's to come you guys I will get this replay up as quickly as I can I know you're going to want to rewatch it and we will be doing these exercises that Merida shared with us tonight we're going to hop on zoom and we're going to make these videos and we're going to go through the motions and do exactly as she has shown us tonight so thank you again you are a complete gem See you soon. Love you guys. Talk to you soon.